Bonjour, mon ami. This morning, we will review a traditional French milk soap by A La Maison. This is the Fresh Sea Salt Bar. Comes in an 8.8 .8 ounce bar. I want you to look closely at the packaging though. See here where it says French, and then underneath A La Maison in cursive where it says De Provence. I got my bar for $3.99 on sale at Marshall's. You can also find this at Whole Foods on Amazon and through the A La Maison website. But also notice in the really small print where it says Huffington, New York. Can you see that? Yeah. I called their corporate office because I was curious about this soap. I wanted to know more and I got a voicemail in New York. So I don't believe that this soap actually comes from France. They do try to pass themselves off as if it is a French soap though. See here where it says traditional French mills. They're using that particular phrase because only exports from the country of France may call themselves French triple milled soap. That's an exclusive term. So they're getting around that by kind of changing the words a little bit. Underneath where it says De Provence, that's a region in France where really high end bar soaps come out of. So that's a key word most people recognize. Even their name, A La Maison, is French sounding. It was a very good attempt, but me being the bar soap guy, I noticed those small details. Still, I'm excited to give their soap a try because they were one of the first companies to like my Pinterest account. Not only that, I read a lot of reviews about this soap and they're all highly rated. So let's see how it showers, shall we? So how was the experience with fresh sea salt? To start with, I really enjoyed the scent. It's a pleasant aroma, a mixture of floral and an ocean breeze. It's only failing is that unfortunately it's a very mild scent. A few hours after bathing in this, it's going to dissipate from your body completely. Let's move on to the moisturizing. Now this, this did moisturize my skin a little bit and I was, I was expecting more moisturizing because on the product label it says there's shea butter in there. But I think what holds back the moisturizing potential is that there's also sea salts in this soap. And while that adds to the very nice aroma, it definitely detracts from the moisturizing capabilities. Lathering. So the soap does lather okay. It's not a very strong lather, but it's not a very weak lather. It's a real middle of the road lather. A nice surprise was after using it on my face, it cleared up my face and it definitely kind of, I don't know, tightened my face a little bit. So I liked that and I wasn't expecting it. It's a very solid bar. I like the form factor. It didn't drop out of my hands at all. And when you have larger bars, that's something you want to be concerned about. You don't want to drop it on your foot. Also, I could tell that it's been milled at least twice. I don't know if this is a triple milk bar or not, but it's a very solid bar of soap and it's going to last you a very long time. Overall, I think that this is a great gift for others and for four to five dollars, it's not bad if you want to try it yourself. Well, thank you for joining me today. And as they say in France or Huffington, New York, au revoir.